Hey guys, I've got a really interesting topic for today's video. And to start things out, I just want to point out that I'm using my multi-pro tailgate here as a mobile office for the video. But no, on a serious note, the question that I want to answer for today's video, it goes like this. Is a diesel truck ever more cost effective than its gas counterpart? Or to word it another way, if you're switching from gas to diesel, is it all about saving money in the end? Is it a budget conscious decision where when you switch from gas to diesel, you're saving money in the long run? And guys, it is pretty windy out today, so you're gonna hear some wind noise in the background. I apologize for that. But going back to the question to give a little bit of background for those who don't know, I have owned diesel trucks for the better part of the last decade. And this is my first gas truck in a long time. And I remember about a year ago when I first did the reveal video on it and went over the build specs and everything on it, that I had a lot of people comment and say, hey, are you sure you made the right decision? This is a gas truck, you know, wait till you get to the, the pump and you're you know, paying through the roof and fuel prices because as we all know, gas trucks don't do nearly as well when it comes to efficiency. And so I had a lot of questions about that. You know, are you sure you made the right decision? And you know, you're gonna be regretting the fact that you bought a gas truck because it's gonna cost you a whole lot more in fuel, right? And guys, I totally get those questions and comments because even though this is a modern gas truck with a modern gas engine, especially when you're towing like an RV over there, it's never going to be as fuel efficient as a diesel engine. And yet my decision to switch to a gas truck the financial aspect was a large piece of that. I mean, the maintenance certainly came into play there, but the fact that I would be saving money, especially over the long haul, was a major factor that led me to the gas truck here. So that begs the question, how then can I justify switching to a gas truck here in order to save money, especially over the long haul, right? And I get it when you're looking at the fuel economy numbers alone. You know, I did a, a video about a month ago sharing how my fuel economy has been over the first, oh, nine months or so of ownership. And so if you didn't catch that video, I'll put a card up and a link in the description below. But basically I'm averaging more or less about 13 miles per gallon combined. And so, you know, with my previous diesel truck, it was a, a Cummins high output. I was typically averaging more like 16, maybe 16 and a half overall. And so when you're looking at those fuel economy numbers, how could I possibly be saving money long-term with a gas truck? Well, guys, my goal for today's video is to prove a, a point, and it might even seem a little bold and outrageous when you hear this initially, but the point I'm trying to prove is that upgrading to a, a diesel truck or owning a diesel truck is never going to save you money. It is never a financial decision, except for one very specific scenario. And I'm gonna pull out a spreadsheet here with a bunch of scenarios to demonstrate my point. But again, I wanna to prove to you today that a diesel truck is never going to save you money over a gas truck. And then stay tuned at the end of the video because I'm going to share a reason why you should switch to diesel and where I think it absolutely does make sense, but it has nothing to do with money. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've created a spreadsheet to demonstrate my point and drive it home. And let me just go over the basic parameters on the spreadsheet. I've made really seven different scenarios out of this same spreadsheet, but you can see there it's got inputs on the top half. And those are the things that I'm going to be changing from scenario to scenario to demonstrate my point. And then at the bottom, we've got outputs, basically comparing a gas engine against a diesel engine and going out to five years. Because for me, that's practically speaking about as long as I would anticipate owning a truck there. All right, so I'm gonna go through all these different scenarios and hopefully prove to you that upgrading or owning a diesel truck is never going to save you money. It's never a financial decision except for one scenario. So let me go through this first one here. This really just demonstrates my typical use case for a truck, whether it's a gas truck or a diesel truck right there. And so notice with the inputs, I've got how many miles per year that I'm driving. And I put 12,000 because that's pretty average for me. And then I've got the unleaded gas price, current diesel fuel price, that's in my area as of today. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in the video later on, but that certainly can change. And then I also listed the cost, the premium to upgrade and get that diesel engine on a truck when you order it. I put $10,000 there. I mean, my last Ram truck with a Cummins high output, it was a $14,000 
upgrade costs. But I put 10 there just to be modest. And then I listed overall the anticipated gas, MPG, and diesel. And this is based on my usage on this particular truck that I have right now. It tends to be about 13 miles per gallon. On my last truck, which was a high output Cummins, I was averaging about 16. Again, same daily driving habits. So check this out. With all these inputs going in, you can see year one what my fuel costs are based on that consumption, 12,000 miles per year based on the current gas price versus the diesel price right there. And so you can see, yes, we are indeed saving a little bit of money with the diesel truck over gas when it comes to fuel consumption alone. In fact, if we go all the way out to five years, you can see we're saving a little under $500 when it comes to fuel costs. But there are some hidden costs with diesel engines. And one of the big ones is that initial upgrade cost to get into a diesel engine to begin with. And like I said, I put down 10,000. I think that's pretty modest right there. And so when you factor in that $10,000 upgrade cost, that premium over the gas engine, you can see we're not saving money. Even down to year five, we're still in the red, $9,500, okay? So we've spent $9,500 just so that we can own a diesel truck. And that's where I find it really hard to argue that buying a diesel truck is a financial decision to save money over the long haul because clearly we're losing money because of how expensive it is to get that diesel engine in the first place. But let me go through some of these other scenarios. So this next scenario is all about towing because you might say, well, those MPG numbers that you put there in the last one, that's you know typical daily driving. What about if you're towing only? You're, you're doing a lot of towing, right? So. In these other scenarios, I basically have modified some of the inputs, just one at a time, basically, from scenario to scenario. So you can see this one represents if you're just doing more towing. And so for me, again, being pessimistic to try to make it harder to prove my case, I put for the gas MPG 7.5 miles per gallon if you're towing versus diesel. I mean, I consistently would get about 10 miles even when I was towing my you know, 17,000 pound fifth wheel, okay? So if we change the MPG, Look how it pans out in terms of fuel costs. So we're saving a little bit more when it comes to year one, all the way down to, to year five. But again, when we factor in that $10,000 cost to get the diesel engine in the first place, well, we're still losing quite a bit. Not as much as the previous scenario, but we're still losing about $7,500 to go the, the diesel route. All right, well, how about another scenario? Let's say that you're sitting there and saying, well, the MPG numbers that you're throwing out there are not realistic. You know, I get way better fuel economy driving my diesel truck around. Okay, well, let's put 20 miles per gallon with a diesel truck. Let's just say that you're getting 20 miles per gallon. I think that's really high, but let's just say that's what you're getting. And then let's take the gas down and say, you're only getting 11 miles per gallon. So how does that look? Okay, year one, we're saving a little over $1,000. Fast forward to year five, we're saving a little bit over $5,000 by doing the diesel truck. But again, you add that $10,000 premium in for the diesel engine, and you're still losing just under $5,000 over the course of five years. So it still doesn't make sense to get the diesel engine to save money over the gas. Well, let's change another parameter. You might be saying, well, you know, $10,000 for that premium, that's just not realistic. I mean, I mentioned the Cummins was 14 on my last one, but let's just say maybe you're buying used, and so maybe it's only a $3,000 difference in cost, or maybe the manufacturers find a way to, to bring the cost of a diesel engine down, right? So I changed that parameter, leaving everything else the same, and look what that does here. So you're still, of course, gonna have similar fuel consumption numbers, but then when you factor in that $3,000 premium, you're still at the end of five years losing over $2,500. So it still doesn't make sense to switch from gas to diesel in order to save money, even if the upgrade cost is only $3,000. But let's take another scenario. Let's say that you're arguing, hey, those fuel prices you're using, you know, they change all the time and you're just basing it off of today's market prices. Well, let's just say we flip the paradigm, right? And what I mean by that is historically, at least over the last decade or so, diesel fuel prices have always been more expensive than gas prices. That hasn't always been the case. There have been times in history where diesel prices were about the same or even a little bit less than regular unleaded gas. But historically, for at least the last decade, like I said, diesel has been a little bit more. Recently, in my area, actually diesel prices have come down where usually they're about 50 cents or so higher than unleaded, where maybe about a year ago, it was about a dollar higher. So I went ahead and just flipped the paradigm. And let's just say that unleaded fuel, regular gas, 
were to cost a dollar more than diesel for whatever reason, something changes in the market. And so now unleaded gas is 4.49 per gallon, whereas diesel is cheaper, it's 3.49 per gallon. So take a look at what this does over five years. You can see over five years, you're gonna be saving almost $8,000 in fuel costs with the diesel. But then you factor in that diesel upgrade cost, $10,000, even at the end of five years, you're still losing $2,364. So even flipping the paradigm with the fuel prices and making diesel significantly cheaper than gas, when you factor in the upgrade cost of the diesel engine, it still doesn't pay off over five years. Now, if you're not already convinced and you're watching this thinking, hey, wait a second, those inputs are not realistic. You need to change all of them at once. Okay, well, let me change all the inputs. Check this out right here. I went to the miles driven per year and I upped it to 16,000 miles per year. Then on the, the fuel prices, I changed the gas price to 399 per gallon and the diesel fuel price to 350 per gallon. Then on the engine premium cost to upgrade to diesel, I lowered it to $8,000. And then on the fuel economy for gas, kept it at 13, but increased the diesel to 17 miles per gallon. Again, this is combined, you know, overall driving. All right, so let's look and see what that does over the course of five years. So of course we're saving money when it comes to fuel, you can see right there, but when we factor in that $8,000 cost to upgrade to the diesel engine, even over five years, look at this, we're making $83. We're saving $83 over the course of five years. So basically a, a break even. Now, let me interrupt and say that I could sit here all day long putting different inputs in and looking at the results. And I think in the majority of the cases, putting realistic numbers in, it's going to show that diesel is always going to cost more than gas, except for this next scenario that I'm going to show you. Check this out. This one I'm calling the, the hotshot driver. I've never been a hotshot driver, but it's my understanding that they can put upwards of 100,000 miles per year on their trucks. And also it's my understanding that most of the time they're going to be carrying a load, whether it's a you know empty trailer or a loaded trailer. And so the MPG numbers that I put in right here are more based on towing numbers, gas again versus diesel, right? So check this out. You're gonna see some huge savings when it comes to fuel. Over $20,000 over the course of five years. And then check this out, even factoring in the $10,000 diesel upgrade premium on that engine, after you get to year three, you're past the break even point. You've already covered that $10,000 premium cost and you've saved money, almost $3,000. And then check this out, when you get to year five, you saved $11,500. But this scenario is very specific and it involves a hotshot driver, someone who's going to be putting just a massive amount of miles on their truck, you know, well over 100,000 miles, and they're gonna be towing the majority of the time. In that specific scenario, we can see that it 100% makes sense to switch from gas to diesel. It'd be foolish not to because you're gonna be spending all that extra money on fuel because of all the mileage that you're putting on the truck. But I mean, outside the hotshot driver scenario, it's hard for me to come up with a real world scenario where you're going to be saving by buying a diesel truck. Really in all the other scenarios that I can think of that are realistic, you're always going to be spending more with that diesel truck. And it's all tied to the fact that there's that premium. When you buy a diesel truck, it has that $10,000 or $14,000 premium tied to it. So that is precisely the point that I wanted to drive home for this video. And that is that buying a diesel truck is never about saving money. It's not about cost savings. It's not a financial decision. Well, of course, except for that last scenario with the hotshot driver. But outside of that, buying a diesel truck is not about saving money. The gas truck is always going to save you more money. So why then would you buy a diesel truck? And remember, I've owned diesel trucks for the better part of the last decade. Well guys, I think, and of course, let me know if you agree in the comments below, but I think buying a diesel truck or upgrading from gas to diesel, it's not about saving money, it's all about the experience, the premium experience. I mean, when you buy a diesel truck, you are truly getting a premium experience, especially 
if you're going to be towing. And when I mention premium, I'm talking about the premium experience that you get from a diesel truck. You know, everything from the power plant, the way the engine and the transmission puts down the power, that massive amount of torque that you get, which you really feel when you're towing. I mean, there's just no comparison with a, with a gas truck, right? But I'm also talking about the fact that that diesel truck's gonna be more efficient. And so you can go longer between your stops, your fuel stops, right? And so that's certainly a premium experience. Then you can also go to a, a truck stop and fill up with the big rigs where everything's you know real big and open. And if you've got a giant fifth wheel or trailer that you're pulling, that certainly is a more premium experience compared to you know trying to get that gas truck into a regular gas station where maybe everything's a little bit more crammed. The diesel truck is typically going to be quieter in the cab because the engine is not revving as high, and so it'll be quieter compared to the gas engine that's that's revving higher. You're going to hear that more, of course, in the cab. Then you've got the exhaust brake with the diesel truck that gives you you know just so much confidence, especially if you're going down a grade using that exhaust brake. There's nothing like it on a, a gas truck. So those are just some of the the benefits i think that play into that premium experience with a, a diesel truck and certainly guys let me know if i'm missing any other obvious premium benefits that come along with the diesel truck but those are just a sampling of some of the premium things that you get with a diesel truck and certainly there's the case where you have to tow something that exceeds the limits of a typical gas truck unlike my light travel trailer back there right i mean maybe you've got to pull something that's 18 19 20 000 pounds right and so that's going to exceed or be right at the limits of a typical gas truck so certainly there's that scenario where you have to get a diesel based on those numbers alone but i'm thinking more for the average rver that's towing something under let's just say 15 000 pounds and I really think in that specific case, going to a diesel truck is never about saving money, unless you're a hotshot, of course, and you're putting on 100,000 miles per year. Going to a diesel truck is all about the premium experience. And so guys, that's where I think a diesel truck really shines. It wins hands down every time when it comes to delivering a premium experience compared to that gas truck. But when we look at the cost, I don't think the diesel truck ever wins in terms of cost, in terms of saving you money at the end of the day, even when you factor in those fuel savings over the course of five years, like we saw from the, the spreadsheets, unless of course you're a hotshot driver. So when you're looking purely at cost, the gas truck almost always is going to win and save you more money compared to the diesel truck, but the gas truck is not going to deliver that premium experience. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to your goals. I mean, are you looking to save money? Well, go gas. But if you're looking for that premium experience, then you need to go diesel. I mean, gas is almost always going to save you money, even over the course of five years, whereas diesel is almost always going to give you that premium experience. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree? or disagree. Just remember to be respectful to one another. And as always, thanks for watching.